gotta go backwards first. Is it morning already? It's morning. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Have you ever Dang seen it. Matt get this prepared for a job? Even taking a chainsaw. So we got a call for a Chevy truck. Is it a Chevy truck? Chevy truck. Maybe yeah, half good. ton? Yeah, just a half ton. Yeah. So we got a call for a half ton Chevy truck that is stuck on Boulder Mountain. Last fall, fall of 2019, it slid off the road and they were unable to recover it. And they've sent other, a few other tow companies to see if they can go get it and nobody's been successful. So we're headed up there to see if we can get it. We got Ryan with me. We got the camera crew in the back seat. We also got Ed coming. He decided he wasn't gonna miss this adventure. So he's following us in the Dakota. We're gonna be meeting Paul from Fab Rats up at the junction up here. And we're gonna go see if we can get it out. Texted him back and said, Don't worry, I'm just waiting for Matt like normal over here. <laughs> so he come to see me. So we gotta drive clear across the whole top of the boulder to get to this thing. Anyway, the keys were left at a RV, RV park. park. Thing, yeah. so said. Good luck. We'll go give her a shot. There are the keys for the guy who drove down the wrong way. Yeah. I have no expectations because I don't know what's out there, but the reports that we're getting from uh, people on search and rescue around here, we're headed into a pretty, pretty wild situation, pretty rough, and they are kind of betting against us. So. Okay, we ready? We'll follow you. Oh, you're following. Oh me. yeah, this is you now. <laughs> I knew Lola wasn't going to move on me. I knew I'd get here. Okay, come on, lady. Let's go. Ready to go again. <laughs> we would really like to get the job done today, but we brought all of our camping gear in, in case this is a two-day event. Yeah, Dave from the Forest Service, he said, go in from Torrey. It's like two and a half hours. Paul talked to somebody that, some guys that are from there that say there's another way in, but... They might be motorcycle riders. Yeah, well, it looks like the trail kind of continues from Highway 12, but, I mean, just looking from an aerial view on a on a It's hard to map, tell the elevation you can't, Yeah, you can't tell the, the terrain at all, so you don't know what you're getting into, so it's probably the smart choice to take the same path he did that got him to where he had the problem. Yeah. Okay, next pull out, next intersection, next something that's big enough to drop this rig. You brought a snatch block? Yeah, I got two. Okay. You forgot a... Oh no, it broke the stud off. No, I lost a nut. I never tightened those up. <laughs> How Is long? the other one loose? I can. Uh, those are five eighths. Yeah, I don't have any. Five eighths in that. I was wondering why. Is the one. other one tight? No. So you want to tighten it before you lose it? Yes. <laughs> Is your dual V to do? Spacer, isn't it? It sure is. I've got another spacer. You got an Allen wrench? Oh, that's a good question. Let's look and see. Quit cheering me up and then dashing all my hopes. <laughs> so, this is a trail fix. <laughs> and this is accidentally you have the right part. And everybody that is going to be saying Jeeps are terrible. They're the worst. 100% with you. Completely agree. They hot? No, but they're hard to compress. Oh. That other one was hot, so it's been it's doing double duty. 
I'm doing something. It looked like you were bouncing all over the place. When you said you got a shot hanging on what it, I didn't even have to be like, there's no way. I was like, oh. I know, I not only know that that's the problem, but I know why. why. <laughs> we made it a good two miles. It was really loose in the back end with the shocks not correctly mounted. Anyway, that's an update from the top of Boulder Mountain. One-handed, man. I'm like driving like this. I'm not even paying attention now. Before, I was kind of like... I can't go as fast as you go. Well, that's why we keep waiting. Hey, I'm, lady. I'm in four wheel high over that one. So as we continue on this main road, it is just becoming more and more deteriorated. So we're down to two track road and rock gardens. That's kind of the two options we got. to go to Highway 12. Is it touching any trees? Boy, those pictures did not. They did not do it justice, did they? See you, Ball. <laughs> you want us to come pick you up in Boulder? Yeah, I'll be in Boulder in a minute. <laughs> Got to go backwards first. If you pull the front up first, the back's gonna slide down that chute. <laughs> um, okay, don't tell me what you're thinking. I'm thinking walk me through your whole truck process right here. Parking the truck right here, running a snatch block up to that tree. I'm back down to the back of the truck. Okay. And getting the back setting up on. And then hooking and pulling another chuck up there with a winch once the back's up on. I'm pulling it straight. And then up. getting that one tight and then hooking to the front with the snatch block. And we while can, you're pulling we can, backwards. We can tie that front off to something, yeah. A tree too, just to keep it from shifting a ton. But we're gonna have to back to here. I'll back to here. Yep. I've this got. This truck will stop you if you roll. I've got. I've got that truck out. So let's go up up top and unload all our non-recovery stuff yeah. out of the trucks. Let's go, go unload some stuff. Who would go down here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, they didn't make it very far though. No. How's that high elevation? Oh, my lungs are burning. <laughs> oh man. So we're going to unload all the non-recovery equipment, gear, food, and everything. <laughs> Want some bug spray on you, Ed? Yeah. Come here, lady. Oh, there's your water. Cigarette. I'm wondering if we can get you down the bottom and I can set Claire up here on top. We can hook the ropes and stuff together. Pull on it both at the same time. 
front and back. I, li I like up. that a lot better. We wander up here and see if we can figure out somewhere to. I can snug in right here. You can even tie yourself off. That's what I'm thinking. Throw something around that tree. This would be the spot right here, back up to that fence. Once I start coming, if you're hooked off of one of these other trees, you want me hooked to the, to front? the front? Yeah. And we'll just slide the whole thing yeah. up. And we'll kind of pull it backwards and up at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Paul, why don't you get in position first so okay. we know what rope we need to tie you off so we don't have to hike it up from down there. Okay. You doing okay, Ed? Looks worse than the picture. The picture didn't look bad. And then I'll work from the other end, and then you can stretch this puppy out. Okay. That's good. So what we're doing here is just giving an anchor to Paul, so when he starts winching, he doesn't pull himself off the hill. Love it. Yep. that
Right now, I'm taking it. <laughs> About a foot, your back tire's gonna drop. I got a tree to stop me now, so I'm not too worried. Yep. You're good, I say, as soon as you get your front tire locked in that ledge. Right there. the first time I've seen Randy where he hasn't said anything, he's just been quiet. Watch that cable, how much am I? We'll have to take some back. Okay. Tow hook right here on the back. Oh, I got you. Hang on. I'm, at the, I'm working on a different thing. Okay. You talked about the safety chain loop. Those aren't my favorite. They're not mine either. Yeah, but let 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 me put my uh, my hitch in there. Okay. And we can put a shackle in there if we yeah, need. Yeah, we to. can put a shackle on it. That'd be way better. Turn. Hold on. Get this one. So it'll come backwards instead of sliding. And you're pulling, you. pulling it about the same angle. I got it. As long as this doesn't overpower the Jeep. Oh, you want to spray that? This looks like fun. Yeah, this guy got in a predicament here. Oh man. I mean, yeah. lucky the trees were there. Yeah. That's, That's a good, better spot than it could be. Yep. <laughs> we're going to need it, I think. <laughs> You're supposed to say, don't need it. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I'd do it. We all have already. Is that why you guys are filming? Just because it's going to be crazy? Yep. Yeah. He's got a YouTube channel. He does this stuff. You can watch all his recoveries on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. What's that called? Matt's Off-Road. Okay, cool. I'll look that up. Yep. Sweet. You'll see this one pop up on there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out. Is that hub locked in? Are you sure that's not in park anymore? Stop, tell him to stop. stop. Let me see if I can get the front end over. I need, yeah. Why don't you get in for a second, Ryan? Okay, I'll go pop the hood. start she's okay yeah, oh no she's been well maintained good deal nice and clean he says he's willing to trade this truck for the job <laughs> really <laughs>
driving this so You guys keep the rope tight. We'll drive her right on out of here. If we get it up to there, I'll just turn around and come put back onto you. Yeah. And you jump out that way. Wheels to the left. Okay, don't, a little bit more. Don't move them from there, no matter what it does. And we're going to try to get the front of the nose up on the trail here. Why don't you turn a little bit more? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay, go. I'm thinking about just staying on you. Yeah, I think if you were to stay on me and pull a little bit, and Paul came back and re-rigged and pulled that way, you're gonna it's be just gonna straighten the truck right out. Yeah, you're you're and climbing higher than you, I think you really should be down here. Yeah, I think so too. If that's the case, why don't you wiggle, turn to the to the right, and uh, wiggle down here an, an inch. Oh, no. Don't worry, I've got the mirror. Yeah, you'll hold us. Oh. Hey, I, I want to say something to the camera. Right there, that's where we want to be. Okay, when I'm in a situation like this and I'm touching the truck, I'm, I don't think that I can stop it from rolling. But that will be the fastest indicator of yeah. this thing starting to move. So I don't have to be watching it. I'm using the, my sense of touch to feel what this vehicle is doing. This is going so much better yeah. than I thought it was going to. Where that truck was at, that went really well. I got it. I've got ten foot of chain. Okay, hold on. I'll just go down a little. Okay. Staying hooked to him because I've got quite a bit of pull, and it'll keep that front end from sliding. Okay. Um, he's gonna I'll start easing him back. Okay. Hey, watch away from that rope, fellas. Yep. Man, get, get up on the hill so you can see it all. I want you guys at least behind that tree. Okay. okay. Your reverse lights is Paul's indicator to pull. So when I say stop, pop it back in neutral. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Top of those rocks back yep. there. Um, turn the other way. Driver's side, yep. More driver. Okay, straighten it out just a little. That's good right there. Little driver. Well, right there. When a flat rock rolls like that. Little driver. Driver. Yep. Right there. Catching on that rear differential or anything? Too? Nope. Okay. You're clear, okay. Must be your wind. I'm gonna start letting it out. Okay, go. Passenger! You're okay. letting yours out, right? Oh, he's coming off the ground up there. Okay, 
right? Beautiful. Passenger again. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Ryan. Slightly driver, just barely. That's good. That's good. Bunched up on one side. It's a little, but it's not bad. Hey Ryan, what if I just start backing up? It actually felt good, really. You weren't going nowhere, Matt uh -oh. had it. Yeah, I mean, it couldn't tip over unless you're free over and everything with it. Yep. So, well, that come out easier than I thought. The battery was good, and it started. So now we put a jump box on it, but it started right up. Great. Hope he's got enough fuel. We got more. <laughs> I got some. I'll be dying. I will when he drives past me. You want to stay above them. what this thing's temperament is. I think you might be better off just to come right back up where you came down. Which is where? Right over here. Across that. Out of there as good as skinning that banana. <laughs> I lost one of my uh, exhaust bolts. Hmm. I could do the work in my shop on my left or here.
Well, that's two trail fixes. We'll be home in like four hours. We've got two hours of driving the dirt road and then two and a half. All right, so we got there and we got the truck found. A lot of driving to Lots get here. Uh, I wasn't too excited when I saw it. It was way worse than the pictures showed. The pictures all made it look like it was. I thought awesome. it was a decent road, actually. Yeah, it was. Oh, I don't know. It was down there. A little sketchy driving down there, but Paul had a good idea for rigging it up, and the rest of the team listened to him and did what did what he said. And it came right out, just like he said it would. We've done it. These guys done good. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. What do you got to say, Ryan? Uh, yeah, same thing. It, it definitely looked it looked worse once we got there. I'm glad it came out as well as it did for sure. Started started. started right up, driving it out. Yeah, it's going to drive home. It didn't mash it into a tree. No. I thought it was resting against the tree from the picture. Yeah, it did. It looked like it was resting it was, right it against was, the tree. It was balanced there. Yeah, the snow didn't tip it over. Yeah. No. I can't say enough good things about my team on this job, and thanks for watching. Where'd you get this truck? Oh, Boulder Mountain, on the <laughs> side of a cliff.